deep in the heart of Texas. We're in the business of winning. Don't bet against me. I don't, don't bet anyone. Don't lose anyway. your life. All right, what's next? All right. We got Alabama minus nine and a half versus Tennessee. Uh, over under here is 46 and a half. Tennessee, not your Tennessee of last year. Last year they were throwing it all around, airing it out. This year they're relying on that that rushing attack. Uh, over 800 yards rushing in their last three games. Pretty impressive. Uh, I think they're sixth in rushing this year. Um, Milrose kind of – they're. Bama is kind of playing. They got to play perfect ball, right? Play good defense, not have turnovers. Just hope Milrow doesn't kill him. Milrow's been hit, hitting the deep ball, so he is a threat there, and he's obviously a threat to run. Um, in those kind of games where you got to kind of lean on, you know, which team is going to not make mistakes, you kind of lean towards the uh, saving team each time. Um, the Bama. Found this stat: They're 129th in sacks allowed, and Tennessee is fourth in the nation in sacks per game, and tackles also fourth in tackles or loss per game. So, I was kind of leaning Bama. Read that stat. I don't know. That's a lot of points to give up to. Well, I think it's actually you know a good Tennessee team. Um, so again, here I'm going to play. I want to play the under. Alabama's always got the defense. Those stats I read about Tennessee with those sacks and tackles for loss. So I'm going to take the under 46 and a half. Yeah, Tennessee got us last week. Their their front seven absolutely fucking killed us. Our offensive line definitely <clears throat> lost us that game last week against ten- Tennessee. Or that was the weak spot. Johnson was under duress all day. So that front seven, especially the front four, seemed like they were otherworldly last week. I felt like they they won the game for Tennessee essentially. That being said, like nine and a half is a lot of points. If Tennessee's defense can show up like last week, um, which I think is more than possible, nine and a half is just too much for me. I'm going to take the nine and a half. I think, I think Tennessee, as much as Alabama wants to get revenge, right? I mean, Tennessee's going to get up for this game too. Um, you know, I don't see too much of a difference. I do think Milrose is a better quarterback, but I think they kind of are – limited in the same way they kind of do the same things and you know i don't expect tennessee to win per se but you know in tuscaloosa but that defense the front seven of tennessee if they can just make some plays i mean there's no reason why tennessee can't be in this game uh so i definitely i definitely like the nine and a half uh plus nine and a half for tennessee i also see the over under here on espn's 48 right now so that's gone up a little bit um take that yeah, so yeah, I I'd, I'd take nine and a half. I think that's just too many points for this style of game, right? Like, Bama's not like a high flying, explosive team, you know. Uh, I just think nine and a half is too much. I think I think it should be like six and a half, seven, seven and a half, something like that. Yeah, I would I would tend to kind of agree with that. These aren't the uh, it's not the Crimson Tide with Tua and Hurts and Mac Jones. Yeah, or even the Tennessee of last year, right? Like, it's totally yeah. crazy how these two teams have flipped. 